So I'm working on a truck on Sunday so that we can take seven cattle to Monroe, which is about a two and a half hour drive. So I make sure the truck is running well. So Stephanie and Land Conservation came on Friday and they took a nitrate test of the corn and we have three different levels of nitrogen we put on, 130 units, 80 units, and nothing. And so what they're doing is they're taking about a foot of the corn stalk and they send it in the lab and they test it for nitrates in the plant to see how much is left. And so then they took the ears off and of each, you can see 11 way, no nitrogen. Um, this one here is 80 uh, parking lot, uh, which is different uh, cover crops in it. And that's got 80 units in. Um, this is 80 units and it's an orange mix. That was a cover crop that was designed for making nitrogen for corn. Um, that's down inside. And this is where we had parking lot, which is basically rye and clover and 130 units and we put down on that. And then they took a bunch of pictures of the corn, what it looked like in each one to see if it was greener or browner. So this is for our show day in February when we'll talk about the results from it. That's what we've had for rain in the last 10 days, if not longer. We had that two and what, seven, 2.7 tenths, was that a week or so ago? 4.4. Oh, that was a lot of rain we over the last, what, two weeks. So we use hockey sticks because it is an extension of my hand. It kind of looks like my hand. And a whip, they don't see that so well. And cattle have really good eyesight, but they can really see this. If I hold that up, they notice me. Um, the other thing is I can push the gate open with the stick or I can pull the gate with me. So it helps me there. Um, a lot of people think that it's wrong that I'm using a hockey stick because I don't know if they think I'm hitting the cattle, but I don't. So I don't want to hurt the cattle because you're damaging the meat. So I don't want to hit them. And the whip, um, you're, you got to crack them to get their attention where I can just touch them with the hockey stick. So that's why we use the hockey stick. We're not there to hurt the cattle. And we're going to sort the three that we need for selling privately two this coming Tuesday, and then there's one going on the 14th of November. So we need to keep them back. But the other seven go to Scott. Yep, they go to Monroe. They got more condition, more fat. When I say condition, there's more fat on them. There's two of them. The big black one still goes to Monroe. Now let me look at these two. He definitely needs more feed. Yeah. I mean, he's getting close. He's not overly fat. I'll bring that one white face out. I'm almost wondering if we should take one of the white face. They're a little better looking. There we go. If one goes, we all go. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep going.
six averaged 1540 remember right and so they were big boys and then the last group we took down I forget what they averaged they were in the 15s also that's a big cow so when you're selling cattle live let's say like last week they were a dollar 89 so if you wanted to figure out roughly what the hanging weight would be, you divide that by 60% and that'll give you like three something a pound. And that would be your price for hanging weight. Downtown Broadhead. Let's see, what size is it? It's a 750. Well, that's a nice chain, you know. It's gonna be 440. I missed it by one minute. my name on here my address and then I tell them how many cattle and what they are so they're steers fed black and then there's seven of them so the cattle I'll sit there tonight and tomorrow when they start the sale they'll look at them and they'll size them if they're all about the same they'll keep them together but I think there's a white face in there Maybe they'll pull him off and sell him separate because he's different. He's not all black. But they'll then weigh him when they got into the, the arena. They have a scale right there. And they'll weigh them as they're being sold so they'll know what they weigh average. And then the buyer up in the audience will bid on them. And it doesn't take more than like 30, 40 seconds and they're sold. Good tennis shoe dog. 